Hello everyone, so before we get into this video, I'd like to address the elephant in the room, i.e. this uh, big arrogant spot on my face as you can see here. I've had it for the last two days and it's awful. I don't want to see any comments about it, so I actually have a little trick for all of you. If you hit that subscribe button right now, it'll actually go away. You're doing it right now and look. Wow. I wanted to start this video by saying that you should all be very proud of me. It's not often that I get the chance to make a pun in the title of one of my videos. So simply imagine my temptation to title this video, Lily Can't Actually Sing. Come on, that is funny, isn't it? It is funny. Don't unsubscribe. This is a video I never thought I'd actually make. I figured that attempting and failing a late night show would be enough to revert Lily Sing back to her original role as a YouTuber. Sorry, I'm not being entirely fair to her here. Her late night show was barely an attempt. It seems to me that Lily Sing has perhaps become addicted to incompetence. She didn't get enough from screwing up an entire career path, so why not kill a few more birds with one big bisexual stone of colour? On April the 27th, Lily posted the following tweet. A classic dancehall tune, Bad Man Forward remake, and this time it's for the ladies. Oh yes, dancehall, the ever-progressive genre of music. I've got a little quote from the Financial Times here. This is a genre that has long been notorious for the brutal homophobia in its lyrics. I was going to include an example of something that Beanie Man often referred to as the king of dancehall once included in his lyrics, but YouTube really wouldn't want me to quote it. But if you get a minute, just search up Beanie Man and the word execute. Okay, you'll see what I mean. All in all, it seems like the perfect genre for a bisexual woman of colour. I guess you could make the point that she's appropriating the genre here as a Jamaican woman attempting to progress her culture. And that would make sense if Lily Singh was Jamaican. It seems as if she's found out that Jamaica is located in the West Indies and gone, oh, you know what? I'm Indian. Maybe India is, is in the West Indies. No, that's absolutely not the case, Lily. Basically, Twitter got very upset when they saw her introduction into dance. Hall. Lily Singh makes me want to do hate crimes against my own people. Any dictators out there interested in genocide, don't bother getting your hands dirty. Just get Lily Singh to appropriate the target demographics culture and the jobs are good and nobody. Lily Singh. Oh, for God's sake. It seems that Lily is beginning to lose her few outstanding qualities. Look, you're white now, Lily. Twitter has officially labelled you as white. They're coming for your bisexuality next, okay? Be warned. I must admit, I've been putting off showing you Lily's song because what are we to expect at this point? YouTuber do music, music do bad, James do video. We're allowing my music to be good though, yeah? Yeah? With that being said, I'd like my 40% male audience to click off of this video now because this song's not actually for you. All women are allowed to stay, obviously. <laughs> Hi. She says here that this one is for you, sister. And she also uses the hashtag uh, girl love. We get it, Lily, you're bisexual. I guess let's press that play button then. <laughs> God, this is really difficult. Maybe if I just look away and... Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Watching a piece of Lily's content is like gargling a mouthful of full fat mayonnaise. What's with this incessant eye contact as well? She's so desperate to retain viewers at this point that she's doing like an angel from Doctor Who. Blink if you want to fucking die. Let's take a look at these lyrics. Watch sisters do the bad gal pull up. Small skinny ting show the man dem what up. Someone's got to say it, Lily. No one refers to themselves as a bad gal in 2020. And if by sheer chance or the fact that they've been a recluse for the last 20 years that they do refer to themselves as a bad gal, I hope to Christ that they never hear this song because it will surely bring forth the term's extinction. Oh, that little smile. Be free, sisters. Someone please kill me. Who is this message even for, Lily? I may not be a gal dem, but I've never wanted to dance less in my life. I hate the fact that most modern day celebrities feel like they're helping the world by putting out these little messages of positivity like, be free, be strong during coronavirus. My mental health has admittedly been on the ropes since the beginning of quarantine, but that's not because I've had to stay indoors. Out of all of the lazy dickheads in this world, I'm probably the most comfortable in this scenario. But all of these celebrities telling me to be strong, actually, you know what? I can handle them telling me it, but don't sing it. We've had that that spine tingling rendition of Imagine? McFly came back for the 16,000th fucking time? We even lost Dave Grohl. I have to show you this, hold on. They even got James Charles involved. It's like as soon as the mainstream media sources became nearly impossible to run, they jumped to any opportunity they had to be thrust down the general public's collective throat. We don't need you, okay? You live in a damn mansion. You're not one of us. So just stay indoors and shut up. If you have stretch marks, anybody I'll pull up. If your arms in dark, anybody I'll pull up. If you not care what made for, anybody I'll pull up. If you like your face, 
It's just such a desperate attempt to garner as much positivity as physically possible. When will celebrities realize that being positive isn't cool anymore? If you want to be relatable, try reading up on some nihilism, okay? That'll go down like honey. Not a brand deal, okay, I'm sorry. Speaking of brand deals, am I the only one that's noticed that there's about 25,000 copies of her book in the background here? Yeah, that really was a number one New York Times bestseller, wasn't it? Probably because Lily Singh bought all of the fucking copies. Sorry, I really shouldn't be taking the piss. If she's bought this many self-help books and is still making danceable tracks despite the fact that she has nothing to do with Caribbean culture, then she clearly needs the help. I don't want to show you any more of this song because I feel like I'm on the verge of having it so drilled into my head that I actually start enjoying it. Oh, okay, I feel ill now. She just goes on about how great women are, no matter their qualities, and that's not something that I'm going to disagree with. But there are almost 2,000 replies to her tweet, and I'd say about 100 of them are positive. What I have noticed is the way that she dips away from the microphone here. It shows that this video was actually recorded after the song was recorded. So this isn't just some little recording that she's done in a minute and chucked up on Twitter for a little bit of fun or, you know, to, to watch the world burn. She's actually produced this song and then recorded a music video on top of it. I have a feeling this one should probably have stayed in the drafts, Lily. We've spoken about Lily appropriating Caribbean culture, which is what a lot of the replies are about. Now, obviously I can point out as a white man, the logic of her being Indian and not from the West Indies. But as a white man, I can't exactly get offended on the behalf of Jamaican people. What I can get offended about, however, is the appropriation of white culture. I'm obviously joking, okay, please don't kill me. Lily produced another song this week. It's been somewhat of a double whammy to the eardrums. This time, however, it's a comedy song. Lily sings Forte, right? Right? Eminem raps about M&Ms. I'm beginning to think that Lily Singh is trapped in a 12 year old's body in 2010. She's just heard I love the way you lie for the first time and she really likes that bisexual woman of color who sings in the chorus. But again, I'm holding back the music, so let's just get right into it. I ain't 50 cent, but I take you to the candy shop. Don't want no gummies in my tummies or no effing lollipops. I must admit that this isn't dreadful. The beat is well produced, for example. You can definitely tell that a lot of thought went into making this music video. It's like Lily's management had a meltdown over the fact that no one's relating to our relatable queen anymore. The internet have realized that she's an industry plant and she can't even captivate a mainstream audience. So what do we do? Fuck. Give her a beard again. That worked before. People loved the beard. Look at her funny little beard. Maybe now they'll click the like button. It doesn't work like that, okay? We're not gonna forget the fact that she did a late night show just because she drew a fucking goatee on her face. She's not relatable anymore. This video probably costs thousands to produce. The outfit that Lily is wearing in this video alone is probably worth more than my entire wardrobe and she's not even a dude. In case you didn't realize, she's a bisexual woman of color. She's not wearing this outfit more than once. But you know what? I'm gonna let it slide. If you've got bars, Lily, I'll listen to a bit more. Cause Eminem give you Eminem so your teeth start to rot. I give you cavities through my lyrics right through your AirPods, so. Sorry, is this self-deprecation or did she think that was a good bar? You've just told us that you're going to give our eardrums cavities. That's not a good thing. You know these lyrics slap pretty damn hard when they make you deaf. Hey, that shit gave me tinnitus. I get it, okay? She's doing some epic bars about how Eminem is the name of a rapper, but oh, oh, Eminem is also the name of a Sweetie. But that's one of the most superficial comparisons that a person born after the year 1980 could possibly make. I'm pretty sure when you're taught what a comparison is, that's the example that they use. Has your brain really been deep fried to the point where you're just slumped in your chair thinking, Eminem sounds like Eminem. Maybe this will make them like me again. Even when you turn me upside down, I get that W man. I win magician with sound. I'm a magic mic. You just like Channing did. These kids want me. So when the trick or treat, you best drop me in the bag. Hmm. Are we gonna talk about that? Let's just try to ignore the fact that Lily Singh has rapped about how she wants to be taken home by children during Halloween. We've established that Lily Singh has become a bit out of touch over recent times, but I didn't think that she'd go quite as far as becoming a pedophile. Speaking of out of touch, by the way, the description for this video is mm, magnifique. Mm. I always wondered what it would sound like if Eminem rapped about Eminem's, so I did it. And in one take, I had so much fun making this. What else should I make a song about? Wiz Khalifa rapping about cheese whiz? Haha, <laughs> wow. Quarantine. Sorry, Jeeves, I've just come out of my cryogenic freezing chamber. Here to make some content for the plebs. What's something relatable that I can put at the end of my description to make them feel like I'm someone they can vibe with? Quarantine. Just quarantine, nothing else. Haha, <laughs> guys, I'm like you, I'm in quarantine. Clearly you're not quarantining if you're filming this in a bloody studio, Lele. She also finishes the description with, P.S. No candy was hurt in the making of this video. I've never seen a younger boomer in my life. This was a joke that YouTubers made in the noughties, you know, back when Eminem was actually relevant. And again, we can't seem to escape 
Escape, Lily Singh's book, Get How to Be a Bouse. The link to buy it is even above all of her socials. As you can see, it's quite high up on her priority list. The stock is filling up half of her 18 bedroom mansion in the Hollywood Hills. She also shouts out the Durrani bros and I didn't know who these people were. I went onto their Instagram page because I wanted to see what kind of role they had in the creation of this video. I also went to block them, obviously. And then I saw that they've actually worked on more of Lily Singh's songs. That was really hard to say. <laughs> their logo looks a bit like a penis. Let me show you the first five seconds. Hello, my name is Lily and I ain't no white man. We fucking get it, man. Well, there you go. I've officially had enough. Lily, you've broken me once again. I hope you're happy. All in all, you know, I think it's important to conclude that Lily Singh is a bisexual woman of color. That's the only thing that matters here. I think she deserves a raise. Don't you? That's a talent if I've ever seen one. As you can see, quarantine is slowly breaking me and I hope you're enjoying the ride. But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to me if you want this spot to go away. It's really annoying me. And yeah, ep epic. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. <laughs>